Second Temple Judaism is Judaism between the construction of the Second Temple in Jerusalem, c. 515 BCE, and its destruction by the Romans in 70 CE. The development of the Hebrew Bible canon, the synagogue, Jewish apocalyptic expectations for the future, and the rise of Christianity, can all be traced to the Second Temple period. History Topic. Topic. Periods Topic. Note, dates and periods are in many cases approximate and or conventional Babylonian exile, 586–539 BC Persian, 539–333 BC Hellenistic, 333 to 164 BC; Ptolemaic, 301 to 200 BC; Seleucid, 200 to 164 B; Chasmonean, 164 to 63 BC; Roman, 63 BC to 70 AD. Topic: <inaudible> Jerusalem and Yehud. Topic. The period of the First Temple ended in 586 BC when the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar captured Jerusalem, destroyed the Temple of Solomon, and deported the elite of the population to Babylon the Babylonian exile. In 539 BC Babylon itself fell to the Persian conqueror Cyrus, and in 538 BC the exiles were permitted to return to Yehud Medinata, as the Persian province of Judah was known. The temple is commonly said to have been rebuilt in the period 520–515 BC, but it seems probable that this is an artificial date chosen so that 70 years could be said to have passed between the destruction and the rebuilding, fulfilling a prophecy of Jeremiah. The end of the Persian period is conventionally dated from Alexander the Great's conquest of the Mediterranean coast in 333–332 BC. His empire disintegrated after his death, and Judea, including Jerusalem, fell to the Ptolemies, the descendants of one of Alexander's generals who ruled Egypt. In 200 BC Israel and Yehud were captured by the Seleucids, the descendants of another Greek general ruling Syria. Around 167 BC, for reasons that remain obscure, the Seleucid king Antiochus IV Epiphanes attempted to suppress Jewish worship. This provoked a Jewish revolt, the Maccabean Revolt, that eventually led to the effective end of Greek control over Jerusalem. Hasmonean Judea was a client kingdom of the Romans, and in the first century BC, the Romans first replaced them with their protege Herod the Great, and on Herod's death in 6 AD, made Judea a province under Rome direct rule. Heavy taxes under the Romans and insensitivity towards the Jewish religion led to revolt the First Jewish-Roman War, 66–73 AD, and in 70 AD the Roman general and later emperor Titus captured Jerusalem and destroyed the temple, bringing an end to the Second Temple period. The Diaspora the Jewish exiles in Babylon were not slaves or prisoners, nor were they badly treated, and when the Persians gave permission for them to return to Jerusalem the majority elected to remain where they were. They and their descendants formed the Diaspora, a large community of Jews living outside Judea, and the 1st century AD historian Josephus reported that there were more Jews in Syria meaning the Seleucid Empire than in any other land. There was also significant Egyptian diaspora, although the Jews of Egypt were immigrants, not deportees. Attracted by Hellenistic culture, eager to win the respect of the Greeks and to adapt to their ways. John J. Collins, Between Athens and Jerusalem. The Egyptian diaspora was slow to develop, but in the Hellenistic period it came to outstrip the Babylonian community in importance. In addition to these major centers there were Jewish communities throughout the Hellenistic and subsequently the Roman world, from North Africa to Asia Minor and Greece and in Rome itself. The Samaritans The separation between Jews of Jerusalem and those of Samaria was a long and protracted process. For most of the Second Temple period Samaria was larger, richer, and more populous than Judea—down to about 164 BC there were probably more Samaritans than Judeans living in Palestine. 
They had their own temple on Mount Gerizim near Shechem and regarded themselves as the only true Israel, the remnant left behind when Israel was deceived by the wicked priest Eli to leave Gerizim and worship at Jerusalem. Second Temple Judeans regarded them as foreign converts and the offspring of mixed marriages, and therefore of impure blood. Relations between the two communities were often strained, but the definitive break dates from the destruction of the Gerizim Temple and of Shechem by a Hasmonean king in the late 2nd century BC, before that the Samaritans seem to have regarded themselves as part of the wider Jewish community, but afterward they denounced the Jerusalem Temple as completely unacceptable to God. Literature in recent decades it has become increasingly common among scholars to assume that much of the Hebrew Bible was assembled, revised and edited in the 5th century BCE to reflect the realities and challenges of the Persian era. The Ritternees had a particular interest in the history of Israel, the written Torah the books of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy, for example, may have existed in various forms during the monarchy the period of the kingdoms of Israel and Judah, but it was in the Second Temple that it was edited and revised into something like its current form, and the Chronicles, a new history written at this time, reflects the concerns of the Persian Yehud in its almost exclusive focus on Judah and the Temple. Prophetic works were also of particular interest to the Persian era authors, with some works being composed at this time the last ten chapters of Isaiah and the books of Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi and perhaps Joel and the older prophets edited and reinterpreted, the Corpus of Wisdom books saw the composition of Job, parts of Proverbs, and possibly Ecclesiastes, while the Book of Psalms was possibly given its modern shape and division into five parts at this time although the collection continued to be revised and expanded well into Hellenistic and even Roman times, in the Hellenistic period the scriptures were translated into Greek by the Jews of the Egyptian diaspora, who also produced a rich literature of their own covering epic poetry, philosophy, tragedy and other forms. Less is known of the Babylonian diaspora, but the Seleucid period produced works such as the court tales of the Book of Daniel chapters 1-6 of Daniel, chapters 7-12 were a later edition, and the books of Tobit and Esther. The Eastern Jews were also responsible for the adoption and transmission of the Babylonian and Persian apocalyptic tradition seen in Daniel. Topic: <laughs> Worship and the Jewish community. Topic: <laughs> Topic: <laughs> Israel as is a holy community. Topic: the Hebrew Bible represents the beliefs of only a small portion of the Israelite community, the members of a tradition that insisted on the exclusive worship of Yahweh, who collected, edited and transmitted the biblical texts, and who saw their mission in a return to Jerusalem where they could impose their vision of genealogical purity, orthodox worship, and codified law on the local population. In the earliest stages of the Persian period the Ritternees insisted on strict separation between themselves. Israel and the Judeans who had never gone into exile, Canaanites, to the extent of prohibiting intermarriage, this was presented in terms of religious purity, but there may have been a practical concern for land ownership. The concept of the Jewish people as a people chosen by God gave rise to innumerable breakaway movements, each declaring that it alone represented Jewish holiness. The most extreme example was the Qumran sect, the Essenes, but Christianity too began as a Jewish sect that saw itself as the true Israel. Topic. Textual Judaism, priests and scribes Topic. Second Temple Judaism was centered not on synagogues, which began to appear only in the 3rd century BCE, and the reading and study of scripture, but on the temple itself, and on a cycle of continual blood sacrifice meaning the sacrifice of live animals. Torah, or ritual law, was also important, and the temple priests were responsible for teaching it, but the concept of scripture developed only slowly. While the written Torah the Pentateuch, and the prophets were accepted as authoritative by the first century CE, beyond this core the different Jewish groups continued to accept different groups of books as authoritative. The priesthood and the autonomy of Yehud the priesthood underwent profound changes with the Second Temple. Under the First Temple the priesthood had been subordinate to the kings, but in the Second Temple, with the monarchy and even the state no longer available, they became independent. 
The priesthood under the high priest a position largely unknown in earlier times became the governing authority, making the province of Yehud in a sense a theocracy, although it seems unlikely that it had any more autonomy than was typical of the empire as a whole. In the Hellenistic period the high priest continued to play a vital role with both cultic and civic obligations, and the office reached its height under the Hasmoneans, who made themselves priest kings. Both Herod and the Romans severely reduced the importance of the office, appointing and deposing high priests to suit their purposes. Intellectual currents Monotheism there was a sharp break between ancient Israelite religion and the Judaism of the Second Temple. Pre-exilic Israel was polytheistic, Asherah was probably worshipped as Yahweh's consort, within his temples in Jerusalem, Bethel, and Samaria, and a goddess called the Queen of Heaven, probably a fusion of Astarte and the Mesopotamian goddess Ishtar, was also worshipped. Baal and Yahweh coexisted in the early period, but were considered irreconcilable after the 9th century. The worship of Yahweh alone, the concern of a small party in the monarchic period, only gained ascendancy in the exilic and early post-exilic period, and it was only then that the very existence of other gods was denied. <laughs> Messianism and the end times the Persian period saw the development of expectation in a future human king who would rule purified Israel as God's representative at the end of time, that is, a Messiah. The first to mention this were Haggai and Zechariah, both prophets of the early Persian period. They saw the Messiah in Zerubbabel, a descendant of the house of David who seemed, briefly, to be about to re-establish the ancient royal line, or in Zerubbabel and the first high priest, Joshua Zechariah writes of two messiahs, one royal and the other priestly. These early hopes were dashed Zerubbabel disappeared from the historical record, although the high priests continued to be descended from Joshua, and thereafter there are merely general references to a Messiah of meaning descended from David. <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom and the Word Wisdom, or Hakmah, implied the learning acquired by study and formal education. Those who can read and write, those who have engaged in study, and who know literature, are the wise par excellence." Grab, 2010, p.48. The literature associated with this tradition includes the books of Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Songs, Sirach and the Wisdom of Solomon, the so-called sapiential books. The emergence of Christianity Christianity emerged within Judaism, the key difference being the Christian belief that Jesus was the resurrected Messiah. Judaism is known to allow for multiple messiahs, the two most relevant being Messiah ben Joseph and the Messiah ben David. The idea of two messiahs—one suffering and the second fulfilling the traditional messianic role—was normal in ancient Judaism, and in fact predated Jesus. Alan Siegel has written that one can speak of a twin birth of two new Judaisms, both markedly different from the religious systems that preceded them. Not only were Rabbinic Judaism and Christianity religious twins, but, like Jacob and Esau, the twin sons of Isaac and Rebekah, they fought in the womb, setting the stage for life after the womb. The first Christians the disciples or students of Jesus were essentially all ethnically Jewish or Jewish proselytes. In other words, Jesus was Jewish, preached to the Jewish people and called from them his first disciples. Jewish Christians regarded Christianity as an affirmation of every aspect of contemporary Judaism, with the addition of one extra belief, that Jesus was the Messiah. The doctrines of the apostles of Jesus brought the early church into conflict with some Jewish religious authorities. Acts records dispute over the resurrection of the dead, which was rejected by the Sadducees. See also persecution of Christians in the New Testament, and possibly later led to Christians' expulsion from synagogues. See Council of Jamnia for other theories. While Marcionism rejected all Jewish influence on Christianity, Proto-Orthodox Christianity instead retained some of the doctrines and practices of first-century Judaism while rejecting others, see the historical background to the issue of biblical law in Christianity and early Christianity. 
They held the Jewish scriptures to be authoritative and sacred, employing mostly the Septuagint or Targum translations, and adding other texts as the New Testament canon developed. Christian baptism was another continuation of a Judaic practice. Recent work by historians paints a more complex portrait of late Second Temple Judaism and early Christianity. Some historians have suggested that, before his death, Jesus created amongst his believers such certainty that the kingdom of God and the resurrection of the dead was at hand, that with few exceptions John chapter 20 verses 24 to 29 when they saw him shortly after his execution, they had no doubt that he had been resurrected, and that the restoration of the kingdom and resurrection of the dead was at hand. These specific beliefs were compatible with Second Temple Judaism. In the following years the restoration of the kingdom, as Jews expected it, failed to occur. Some Christians began to believe instead that Christ, rather than simply being the Jewish Messiah, was God made flesh, who died for the sins of humanity, marking the beginning of Christology. While on one hand Jesus and the early Christians had all been ethnically Jewish, the Jews by and large continued to reject Jesus as the Messiah. This was a source of embarrassment for the Church and affected early Christianity's relationship with Judaism and the surrounding pagan traditions. The anti-Christian polemicist Celsus criticized Jews for deserting their Jewish heritage while they had claimed to hold on to it. To the Emperor Julian, Christianity was simply an apostasy from Judaism. These factors hardened Christian attitudes towards Jewry. Topic see also topic Hillel the Elder and Hillel and Shammai Intertestamental period Jewish Christians Messiah Ben Joseph Split of Early Christianity and Judaism Third Temple Jerusalem during the Second Temple period topic References topic topic Citations topic topic Bibliography topic Ackerman, Susan 2003. Goddesses. In Richard, Suzanne. Near Eastern Archaeology, a reader. Eisenbrowns. Alberts, Rayner 1994a. A History of Israelite Religion, Volume 1, From the Beginnings to the End of the Monarchy. Westminster John Knox. Alberts, Rayner 1994b. A History of Israelite Religion, Volume 2, From the Exile to the Maccabees. Westminster John Knox. Alberts, Rayner 2003. Israel in Exile. SBL Press. Berquist, John L. 2007. Approaching Yehud, New Approaches to the Study of the Persian Period. SBL Press. Betts, Arnold Gottfried 2000. Monotheism. In Friedman, David Noel, Maya, Alan C. Eerdmans Dictionary of the Bible. Eerdmans. ISBN 9053565035. Bickerman, Elias J. 1984. The Babylonian Captivity. In Finkelstein, Lewis. The Cambridge History of Judaism, Volume 1 Introduction, The Persian Period. Cambridge University Press. Cohen, Shane 1999. The Beginnings of Jewishness, Boundaries, Varieties, Uncertainties 3rd ed. University of California Press. Cohen, Shane 2014. From the Maccabees to the Mishnah 3rd ed. Westminster John Knox Press. Collins, John J. 2017. The Invention of Judaism, Torah and Jewish Identity from Deuteronomy to Paul. University of California Press. Collins, John J. 2000. Between Athens and Jerusalem, Jewish Identity in the Hellenistic Diaspora. Eerdmans. Coogan, Michael David, Brettler, Mark Zvi, Newsom, Carol Ann. 2007. Editor's Introduction. In Coogan, Michael David, Brettler, Mark Zvi, Newsom, Carol Ann. The New Oxford Annotated Bible with the Apocryphal, Deuterocanonical Books. Oxford University Press. Davies, Philip R., Rogerson, John 2005. The Old Testament World. Westminster John Knox. Edelman, Diana Vikander 2014. The Origins of the Second Temple, Persian Imperial Policy and the Rebuilding of Jerusalem. Routledge. Flusser, David 2009. Judaism of the Second Temple Period. Erdmans. Fridrikson, Paula 2000. From Jesus to Christ, The Origins of the New Testament Images of Christ 2nd ed. Yale University Press. Grab, Lester L. 2010. An Introduction to Second Temple Judaism. A and C. Black. Hegerman, Harold. 1990. The Diaspora in the Hellenistic Age. In Finkelstein, Lewis. The Cambridge History of Judaism, Volume 2, The Hellenistic Age. Cambridge University Press. Hess, Richard S. 2007. Israelite Religions, an Archaeological and Biblical Survey. Baker Academic. Knoppers, Gary N. 2013. 
Jews and Samaritans, the origins and history of their early relations. Oxford University Press. Leith, Mary Joan Wynne Israel Among the Nations, the Persian Period. In Coogan, Michael D. The Oxford History of the Biblical World. OUP. Liverani, Mario 2014. Israel's History and the History of Israel. Routledge. Malamad, Abraham, Ben Sasson, Chaim Hillel 1976. A History of the Jewish People. Harvard University Press. Moore, Megan Bishop, Kell, Brad E. 2011. Biblical History and Israel's Past, The Changing Study of the Bible and History. Eerdmans. Nelson, Richard D. 2014. Historical Roots of the Old Testament 1200-63 BCE. SBL Press. Smith, Mark S. 2002. The Early History of God, Yahweh and the Other Deities in Ancient Israel. Eerdmans. Wonk, Gunther Prophecy and Psalms in the Persian Period. In Finkelstein, Lewis. The Cambridge History of Judaism, Volume 1 Introduction, The Persian Period. Cambridge University Press. Wright, J. Edward The Early History of Heaven. Oxford University Press.